Hey everybody, what's up? I thought that I would come on here today and record a get ready with me kind of video because I have been gone for just a little while and I have been doing a lot of Instagramming. That's primarily where most of the activity that I've been doing has been coming from. So um, if you go over to my Instagram account, you can see all of the new videos that I've just posted. Today, I thought that I would just come on here and do a really fun get ready with me and see if I can take this footage right here and condense it down for a video on Instagram because I'm really enjoying those. So I'm going to dive right in. I have a bunch of new things that I'm going to try out. So this will kind of be like a first impressions as well. I have come to the decision <laughs> that I am going to no longer be a redhead. And furthermore, that I'm going to just grow out my hair and have my natural color be my color so if the hair does not look so great it's a work in progress just keep that in mind i dyed my hair with henna and i've been dyeing my hair with henna for the past like four years so if you know anything about henna you know that you cannot get rid of it so it is a work in progress and will take quite some time to grow out but as you can see my roots underneath are pretty light and it looks like I'm losing hair but I'm not. <laughs> My hair is actually really really light and gray. But that's beside the point. The point of why you're here is to see me put on makeup and talk about things. So uh, if you want to see that then just keep watching. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I try to post things every week for you guys. Um, like I said I've been doing a lot of Instagramming. You know from there I have gotten a few more subscribers, so if you found my Instagram and then found my YouTube, hi, welcome to the Mermaid Squad. We really appreciate you being here, and yeah. So I am going to start with my eyebrows. Lately, I've kind of been doing a really supernatural looking eyebrow. I came across this from Alme, and it is their brow styler, and I have been so obsessed with this. It has a teeny tiny brush, and it puts your eyebrows on so easily. So I'm just going to show you how I do that. I start just by working the product on the lower part of the eyebrow, and then I bring it up, and then I kind of wrap it around to the tail of the eyebrow, too. If you go to my channel, you can see an eyebrow tutorial where I do an example of like an everyday kind of eyebrow and then the other eyebrow I do like something more dramatic, takes a little bit more time, but is a lot more precise and filled in. So that I can link up here if you're interested. I recorded it probably about eight months ago. But the reason why I'm bringing it up is because this is very similar to the process that I would do if I were doing a more natural eyebrow. <clears throat> Sorry, I just had like rice and veggies. And I also tried this like non-meat chorizo kind of thing and it was really good. And there we go, it's just as simple as that. And you can kind of tweak the shape if you want, which is what I really enjoy about this product is that the formulation of it is still kind of flexible. So, something new that I just recently acquired is the NARS Skin Deep Palette, and this is a collection of 1, 2, 12 eyeshadows, and most of them are matte, and I'm trying to figure out a way of getting this, like, cover off of the top of the shadows. There we go. But this is what it looks like. Very pretty, very neutral. I think there's actually a shade in here or a couple of shades that I can use for my eyebrow color. So that's kind of what I've been doing too is I start with the Alme Brow Styler and then I go in with like an angle brush and an eyeshadow and just kind of fill in and kind of fine tune the shape a little more. I think that I could probably wear either Sophia or Whipped through my eyebrows. So this is Sophia right here, and then this is Whipped. 
So for days when I want to look a little bit more like I have red toned eyebrows, maybe I might go into whipped and then sometimes I might want to dip into like trying to point at things but while looking in the viewfinder is hilarious. It's a trap. Or some days I might want to wear uh, Sophia. So I think those are two appropriate shades that I could wear through my eyebrows. I think for today though, I'm going to go into Sophia. And a little information about this palette, I believe it's like $59, I want to say, like $58, $59. And this is supposed to be an all-new shadow formula. So the formulation of the mattes in this palette are supposed to be incredibly buttery, incredibly smooth, and just by tapping my brush in there, I can already tell that they are. So let's put this through my eyebrow, shall we? So I usually start at the bottom and just kind of carry the color up. And already you can see how much of a difference that makes. Like this is more finished looking than that. All right, and I think that we are at a pretty good place where the brows are looking really nice. Um, I do really enjoy that Sophia color right there as a brow shade, so I might be reaching for that in the future too. I think next up I'm going to lay down some concealer as a base for the eyeshadow that I'm going to do. And then I'll be blending that out with a sponge. This one's by Real Techniques. We are now going to dive into the uh, NARS Skin Deep palette. Um, I do want to just for fun, swatch a couple. So I'm gonna do um, this matte right here, which is called Whipped. Pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, let's go in with this gold shade right here. This one is, um, I believe Calendar Girl is the name of this one. Amazing. And we are just putting undress through the crease. And what I'm finding is that even though the shadow right here undressed is incredibly cool tone in the palette, it's going on very warm. It transfers very warm on my skin. It's very pretty though. It's a good like everyday neutral kind of crease shade. So something really funny that happened was um Chloe and I went to this new kind of uh, Mexican restaurant that opened up in Minneapolis. I believe it's a Mexican restaurant, but they seem to have like a little bit of everything. Uh, anyway, it was really cool. I believe it was called Colita, and they had a drink on their menu called the Naked Danny. <laughs> I believe it was called the Naked Danny. It had my name in it. That's all I remember. But it was a really yummy drink. It was kind of like a margarita, and it had salt foam that they put on top of it too. I'll have to put a picture up of it just so that you can see it. But it was delicious and the name of the drink was hilarious and it was pretty fitting to me. <laughs> I love my bubble baths and I do like a margarita so I think I ended up keeping that rubber ducky too. You're supposed to squeak. We're just gonna set her right up here. She can oversee the whole entire thing. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is a little patchy right there. So I'm just gonna try and soften that with a little bit of the lighter shade. All right, so now with a flat shader brush, I'm just gonna dive into this shade right here. This one is Faster Pussycat. And I'm gonna put that one right there. This one is very metallic. very pigmented too. Let's go back into the blending brush. I love the shade. It's like saturated but not. It's like a pop of color but very wearable. I think I'm going to take this gold right here. This is Calendar Girl and I will be popping that like in the center. 
right, and that shade went on very beautifully. This one right here is called Centerfold. I'm just going to flip my brush over and pick up a little bit of that. And I'm going to pop that directly in the center. Just because I want like, like this. I want just a little bit more impact there. A little bit more brightness. And there is an ambulance right outside my apartment. What I'm going to do next is take an angled eyeshadow brush. This is the Sigma E70 brush. And we are going to go back into this shade right here, which I believe is undressed. And I'm just going to put this on the lower lash line. Something I'm doing is I'm trying to train myself not to make that face while I put on my lower lash line shadows or a lipstick. <laughs> or like this weird that. I made that face. Now I hear a neighbor's dog. <laughs> it's like, can I just get some quiet, please? <clears throat> All right, so I really like the way that this is looking with a MAC 218 brush. We're just going to go into the shade right here, which is Basic Instinct. Just putting that in the inner corner. And I think that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow palette. Um, I like it, but at the same time, I'm trying to get these swatches off the back of my hand. Um, I like it, but at the same time, I feel like this shade right here, which is undressed, went a little patchy on me. And I had to kind of maneuver around that, but I mean, I'm not using technically an eyeshadow primer, so that might be the reason why, but still, like, the shimmers went on really well. They look really pretty. And I have this idea, and I'm going to give it a shot, that is to use a colored pencil in the waterline, so I think I'm going to reach for my two purples again. Both of them are from ColourPop, and I don't know. I might do both of them, or I might just do this one, which is Piggy Bank. It's really pretty. I've been loving these. I think this is such a unique and interesting way to set off a really neutral look like this, so try it. I think you guys will like it. I know I do. I'm going to bust into this. This is a Makeup Forever Starlit Diamond Powder in the shade 107. It is this loose powder that is super reflective. As you can see in the camera, it is like kind of shining pink, but it also has this goldiness to it. Let me see if I can swatch this. I mean, you can kind of see it right there, but it's the overall effect that it gives that is really pretty. So I'm just going to pick up some of that on a brush and use a little bit of setting spray. And it really transforms. Okay, so I don't know if I recorded that, but... <laughs> and there is glitter literally everywhere. It is like the Mariah Carey movie up in here. Okay, so we are going to be a disco ball today. I'm totally fine with it. We can make it work. In the future, I really need to pick out more of these because this blew me away. All right, so something fun that I have that's new to try is this Suva, Suva, I think is how you pronounce it. Suva Beauty Hydra Liner. And this one is in the shade Grease. I've played around with this a little bit, but it is a water activated product and you can use it as like shadow or liner or you can paint the body with it if you wanted to. And I have a little dish with some water and I'm just going to use this with an angle brush to create a nice defined cat eye. Thank you. 
man, you can really get such a super crisp line with this. I really like how that went on. All right, so this is where we are at with the liner. I do really, really like it. Uh, they come in a wide variety of shades. So um, I have this one, and I think I have a green one too, called Sea Nymph. So I'll have to use that one later on for like more of a green look, but this one is absolutely pretty. It's relatively easy to apply to. You can get a really consistent, like smooth line with it. Moving on. Just going to use some CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. I have been back on this ever since my uh, video that I did where I put on makeup that I wore 10 years ago. <laughs> Okay, now that my lashes are thoroughly coated with mascara, we're going to be going in with a pair of lashes. These are from Kiss. They're a part of the Blooming Lash Collection, and this is in the style Peony. All right, and those lashes went on really easy. So now we're going to move on to the rest of the face. So I have this from Tatcha. It is the Silk Canvas Primer. Packaging on this is so pretty. Holy crap. That's the little spatula. Then it comes sealed, which is really nice. I love that they put their story on the box. And I love the graphic design of this. Like, holy cow, that's beautiful. This is Miss Chacha. I've tried samples of this and fell in love with it. Oh my god, it smells so good, too. It has a very velvety, smooth feel. And I believe this is supposed to control oil, but also kind of fill in your pores too. For foundation, I am going to be going in with my Bye Bye Foundation. This is full coverage. It's a moisturizer too, so it's really good for people who have more uh, drier skin, which we are just now entering spring and summer. My skin is still a little dry from the winter. I don't know if I mentioned this, but this product is from It Cosmetics, <laughs> and it is like a staple in my everyday makeup routine. And it has a crap ton of SPF in it. I forgot to mention that too. It has an SPF of 50. And paired with that Tatcha primer, I really, really like the way this is looking on my skin. I feel like the Tatcha primer just like grabbed onto it and is kind of holding it in place but also giving me kind of that luminosity that I really like. I love it. Just gonna use my Catrice concealer. Now that that's on, I'm just gonna use my Cody Airspun powder. I just dug my finger in the highlighter. Oh my god. It's what I get for moving too fast. All right, let's try this again. For highlight, I'm going to be going in with the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials Everglow uh, highlight. I usually do this side and this side. that is the skin. So I have these two lipsticks from L'Oreal and they are a part 
of the Colorish Shine collection. So I have number 908 and 904. 904 is called Varnish Rosewood. Kind of rose tone like the name implies. Still kind of brown. The number 908 which is called Sparkling Rose. It's a little lighter and these are kind of on the sheer side so I'm pretty sure you can build them up though. Yep, you can definitely build them up, but they are super natural looking and they give kind of like a juicy, kind of moisturized effect. That's a really pretty color. I think I'm going to mix the two and use number 904. I literally do this all the time. All right, and that is it, you guys, for this video today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that it was helpful or useful. I think pretty much every single thing I put on my face today, I really, really enjoyed. My apologies, this eye is watering on me, so I don't really know what to do about that. Oh, I think it's just the fact that I have worn so many lashes <laughs> Uh, recently so I think my eyes are just kind of like girl but yeah um, all the product information will be listed down below in the description box and feel free to go over to my Instagram uh, page and check it out I have a whole bunch of cool videos on there this will probably be a part of a video that I will post later on on Instagram and I really appreciate you coming on to my channel and watching my videos. Feel free to continue to watch some more. I have a ton of videos on my channel. And with that said, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.